trust in Jesus. This is a very familiar tune that we have been singing for a long, long time. But I wonder if any of you, or even myself, even really knows where we got these hymns from and how, and what came the what was the genesis of a lot of these hymns. There is a book titled "Then Sings My Soul," which the author is Robert Morgan, and he and Robert has taken a lot of our familiar hymns and told us a little a little history of the hymn. "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus" was written in 1882 based on Scripture Psalm 56:11, which says, "In God I have put my trust; I will not be afraid." And Robert Morgan writes this, How fitting that a missionary should write this hymn about faith and trust. Louisa M. R. Steed was born about 1850 in Dover, England, and became a Christian at age nine. She felt a burden to become a missionary in her teenage years. When she was 21 or so, she immigrated to the United States and attended a revival meeting in Urbana, Ohio. There the Lord deeply impressed her with a ringing missionary call. She made plans to go to China, but her hopes were dashed when her health proved too frail for the climate there. Shortly afterward, she married a man named Steed. Long, but sometime around 1879 or 1880, Mr. Steed drowned off the coast of Long Island. Some accounts say that he saved a boy who was drowning, and other accounts say both Mr. Steed and the boy perished. Other records suggest it was his own four-year-old daughter, Lily, that he saved. In any event, the family's beachside picnic ended in tragedy for Louisa. Shortly afterward, taking little Lily, Louisa went to South Africa as a missionary, and it was there during those days that she wrote, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." Louisa served in South Africa for 15 years, and while there, she married Robert Wodehouse. When her health were forced a return to America, Robert pastored a local Methodist church. In 1900, her health restored. Robert and Louisa attended a large missionary conference in New York and were so enthused by the experience, they again offered themselves as missionary candidates. They arrived at Methodist Missionaries in Rhodesia on April 4, 1901. In connection with this whole mission, there are glorious possibilities, she wrote. One cannot, in the face of this peculiar difficulties help saying who is sufficient for these things but with simple confidence and trust we may and do say our sufficiency is of God. Louisa retired in 1911 and passed away in 1917 but her daughter Lily married missionary D.A. Carson and continued the work for many years at the Methodist Mission Station in Rhodesia, Zimbabwe. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus how I've proved him over and over, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Do you trust him today? There is no greater name and no one that we can put our trust in other than Jesus. He will not let us down. He will not betray us. He will not forsake us. He stays true to his word. Listen again. <laughs> Thank you so much for just being who you are all the time, Father, for never, never wavering from who you say and what you say you will do. Father, I pray that we keep trusting in you, that we keep knowing that you know what's best for us, even in times of peril and times of confusion and even during this pandemic. Father, there's no person sweeter, sweeter to trust in than Jesus. Father, we love you. We thank you for your goodness. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Y'all go and have a glorious day.